up our voice to thank him for answer to prayers. If we are not sure he will not answer, we will not thank him. But we are sure that our God will answer. Lift up your voice and let's give him praise for answer to prayers or this 21 day prayer and fasting. God heard our cry. Testimonies are already flowing to show that God has answered. Testimonies are already flowing, confirming someone's breakthrough, someone's open door, someone's change of story. Lift up your voice and let's give glory to this awesome God. Blessed be your holy name. The never failing God, we thank you. The awesome God, we thank you. Dependable God, we thank you. Reliable God, we thank you. Jesus, we are grateful to you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. The Odogu himself will show himself mighty upon your life. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Where your hand cannot reach, you will see the hand of God in that area today. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whatever men have vowed, you will never be able to get in your lifetime. I decree for you today, that testimony will be given to you. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Your days of weeping is over. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This February, God will give you and your family a shocking testimony. A testimony that will make you shed tears of joy. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. It is my new dawn era. What eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, shall be the order of the day in my life. Congratulations. And amen. Put your hands together for the Lord and please be still. In our series of teaching this month, our focus is on obedience gateway to realms of noiseless breakthrough. Obedience gateway to realms of noiseless breakthrough. And in the first service, we looked at instruction. Instructions trigger for distinction. Bearing in mind still that our focus of teaching is every commandment of scripture is for our profiting. This second service will be looking at the power of discipline. Profit, success, increase is impossible without discipline. You want to succeed as a student? You need discipline. If you want to make profit as a businessman, you need dis discipline. If things must work well, if your family must enjoy the blessings of God, you also need discipline. God is a God of principles and everything he wants to do, he has guidelines. Everything he wants to accomplish in our lives, there are instructions.
No wonder success itself is a perishable asset. I know somebody has not heard that before. Success is a perishable asset. If you leave it to its own, it will begin to deteriorate. A star in soccer, if, it is not, if he is not doing what brought him to where he is, it will begin to deteriorate. There are so many players that have faded away that we are no longer hearing of again. True or false? But there are others we are still hearing of their name every year. What makes the difference? He couldn't keep to the terms of success. So from being paid 350,000 pounds a week, he has gone to where they are paying him 25,000 pounds a week. Success has reduced. So profit has gone small. I remember when it was carried on paper that um, who, who had of Fini the George those days? <laughs> He's selling ice cream. He's selling ice cream. Ice cream. Buy ice cream. Buy ice cream. Who want to seek profit regularly? This message is for you. The part of the jaws is like a shining light. The shining brighter and brighter onto a perfect day. Maybe you were the best in your class last year. Don't think you have arrived though. Work has come. What did I say? If you don't do anything to remain the best, you will be the worst. If profit must be seen regularly, then you must know what it takes to practice discipline. Discipline is practiced. I bought a book at the airport one day. The title of the book is What Brought You Here Can't Get You There. I said, ah, ah. What Brought Me Here Can't Get Me There. I said, I want to read this book. <laughs> the man said, the book is 6,000. I started bargaining. I said, you can't change my mind. What Brought Me Here Can't Get Me There. Which means there is something I need to do to get me there. What is discipline as far as profiting is concerned? Number one, it is operating according to scriptural demand and not social desires. Operating according to scriptural demands. Joshua chapter 1. This book of the law, let's read it together. Joshua chapter 1. Verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. There is success and there is good success. And then, condition, you must meditate. You must keep meditating. You must keep working on the book of the law. You must keep laboring in the world. So if profit must be assessed this year in our life, we must keep meditating. 
we must increase our intake of the word. No wonder. You don't just suddenly succeed as a Christian financially without maintaining financial discipline. My God will do it. It's for everybody. God will make a way. It's for everybody. But thank God he has stopped throwing food from heaven. He that must not walk, let him not do what? Say ye to the righteous, he shall be well with your soul. He shall eat the fruit of his word. Say with me, labor. Many of us don't like to hear that word, labor. But scripture says, in all labor, there is what? <laughs> if you must talk profit, you must think labor. If you must talk profit, you must do what? Think labor. Think labor. If you don't want to be cast down, if you don't want to end up as a beggar, you must embrace labor as part of your lifestyle. You must labor in the world, also labor in the physical. If you must talk profit, you must think labor. In all labor, there is profit. What is discipline again? Discipline is separating the expedient for the lawful. Meaning, separating your, yourself from the things that are needed from the things that are not necessary. One of the major challenges of every man that wants to succeed habits your habit can pose a threat to your success your habit can pose a threat to your profit they ask somebody what is your hobby is he sleeping A little sleep, a little slumber, and poverty will knock on your door. Say with me, God forbid. Sleeping is not your hobby. It's the hobby of lazy men. <laughs> uh, what's your hobby? Sleeping, watching film. <laughs> Lazy spirit. <laughs> Please, if you are an employer and you see such in the person's CV, don't bother sending texts. When you employ the person, you come and be sleeping in your office. Those are the kind that drive customers away. Hello, anybody here? Uh -huh. You know the sister they watch TV. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Habit can be an enemy of discipline. More especially when you carry some lazy habits. They make you major in the minor instead of majoring in your major. People that lack discretion, they can never have discipline. What is discretion? First things first. 
what are the main things that you need to do now? Now, in every field of endeavor, in every setting, there is one thing you can do now that can make every other thing to work. Do you agree with me now? That is what we call priority. That should catch your attention. You build discipline in that area because that is one thing that is determining your overall results. Your overall success. Your overall profits. But if you have one bad habit that will not allow you, you will discover that that one that should have been your major, you now become, make it a minor. Now, this book of the law, you will discover that the book of the law is no longer a priority. If it is only on Sunday that you come to church that you open your Bible, some don't even open itself because TV don't fool everywhere. Are you what I'm saying now? Nothing will be added to your life. Because only what is added that determines the profit you will get. You are struggling. Do you know that even as a pastor, you need discipline to study this Bible? Ah, I say you need discipline. You need discipline. Because you can assume now that you, they call it Isaiah 54 verse 17, ah, no way perform no fashion against me shall prosper. He knows the scripture. Hebrew 11, ah, now faith is the substance of this so far. The evidence is nothing. Uh, you are just cramming scripture. You don't have proof of scripture. If the word must profit you, you must discipline yourself to labor in the word. Tell your neighbor, labor. So we must make it a priority. It takes discipline to make the word a priority. Please, I beg us, kill assumption. Anytime you assume that you know, it's a sign that you really did not know. Anytime you assume that you know, you are killing yourself. You don't know. You assume that you know. And Papa said, assumption is the mother of frustration. You assume that you know, that you know it. You don't know it. Even if you know what you know is in parts, Paul said, For we know in parts. Anything you know now is in parts. Go and look for the other part. If you must profit from the word, also. You need discipline to set goals. If prophecy must be fulfilled in your life, you must set goals. We have many goalless believers. This is my year of new dawn. In which area? New dawn. Papa has prophesied. Now I've discovered that in most organizations, before they close up for the year, they set new targets. They give themselves new projections. For those of us that are working in the bank, 
They are not interested in hearing whether there is economic downtown. True or false? Whether you are in marketing, the next thing you all see, you all open your back up, you say, bah! your goal for this year is one billion. The moment you open it and see one billion, you go, you all faint first. Bah! The next thing you begin to ask myself, who I know where I go get one billion? The first thing they will come and say, Father, I'm in your hand. Oh. <laughs> now, do you know why they give you one billion? They want to stretch you since you don't want to stretch yourself. They stretch you. They want you to go the extra mile. Now, have you personally set goal that will make you go the extra mile? You want to make profit this year. You want to achieve greater success. But no goal in view. No wonder you are living so complacent. Too relaxed. Bishop Abiyah said, people that are always taking it easy, they are eased out of life. Take it easy, take it easy. You are eased out of life. You are taking this thing too serious. Anything you don't take serious will never give you a serious result. Anything you don't take serious will never give you a serious result. You are too casual for the kind of success you want to see. That's why you need goals. I review my goals nearly every month. Anytime I just get any new information that can better my chance of getting that thing done, I just shoot it up. Because in information reduces your suffering, your struggle. Everybody you see here now stands the chance to succeed more better. But not everybody is willing to pay the price. Not everybody is ready to go the extra mile. Not everybody wants to do the extra work. There are students that read only when it is um, three weeks to exam. True of us? There are others that set targets. Where's that young man that made first class in accounting? He's not around. He didn't set, he didn't achieve first class because he was in school. He set the targets for first class before he got to the school. So, he conditioned his life. Everything ab about him was working towards that first class. And he got it. His friend also got it. What do you want to profit in? Set your goal in that area. Some don't have any spiritual goal. No wonder a masquerade is still pursuing you in the dream. Yes. Some of masquerade is still pursuing them in the dream. Some they are still making love in the dream. Some they are still eating food in the dream. The food they have not eaten in the physical. Though. Am I saying the truth? If truly you want to make profit, you want to see profit in your life. If you want to break through beyond where you are right now, there is what you must condition yourself to by discipline to enable you arrive at it. So in every field of life, there is a demand for discipline if we must record new levels of success. Now, discipline also brings about what we call mastery. Say with me, mastery. Mastery simply means being in command. Indiscipline only makes you a slave. Puts you in command. 
And when you are in, in command, you are not afraid of any outcome. You know the outcome. That's why Papa said, I'm not surprised at where we are. I would have rather been surprised if we were not there. Let me give you another example. There are students when it is time for a result to be announced, they will begin to fast. But there are others. Go check and come and tell me. I like that one. One came one day and said, sir, I'm suspecting that we fail. I said, you have already failed. <laughs> you know I don't pity such people. I know you have already failed. So what do you want? He said, pray so that God will touch his heart. I said, there is nothing to touch there. There is nothing. If you fail, you are failed. God will touch his heart so that what will happen? So that he will change it to A. <laughs> if you fail, you don't fail, though. Go prepare for carryover. If he's to say that you came that I should pray that your brain will work well, I will have prayed the prayer quick, quick. Are you hear what I'm saying? Huh? But to say that uh, I should pray that uh, God will change his heart. Change who's heart? If he makes mistake to score you, they will still catch you one day. Let me give you an example. One young man graduated as a medical doctor from the University of Calabar. He was one of these notorious type that never stayed in the class. So he collected MBBS, medicine and surgery. So he was now working in one hospital as a quack doctor. You know, we have quack doctor, quack lawyer, Quack engineer. Everything we have quack. We will have quack pastor. <laughs> yes, now, pastor that sell anointing oil before they will pray for you. Pastor that you will, as you are feeling form to see pastor, you will pay 1,000 naira. Those are quack pastors. So, he did abortion for a girl. The girl died. When the girl died, the father traced where they did the abortion and needed to know who was the doctor that did this thing. Where did you graduate from? We want to know, see your certificate. In fact, he was arrested. There's no grammar inside. They arrested him from there. They seized the certificates, petitioned the uh, dean medical school where he came from. And they started probing his uh, departmental history. They found that he was among those that never enters class. That, that, that used to sort lecturer. He sorted and sorted and sorted and sorted his way out. Now he has graduated as, M, as a medical doctor and surgery using knife to tear people's body. Finally, finally, he has killed somebody. Now, the dean, uh, I mean, the provost of medical school was demoted. He was demoted. It was demoted because of uh, carelessness. You, uh, that's why before they graduate you as a doctor, they screen you. They screen your character. Some people that have not graduated now, now it's because of their character. Am I lying? There are some of them that are there for 11 years. It's not which that is doing them. It's their bad character. It's part of their indiscipline. So it's not only you scored well academically, they also score your mind. Is this person mind correct? So that was how they withdrew his certificate. Withdrew his certificate. Why? It was a quack. He didn't merit it. That's why you need discipline now. Tell your neighbor now. Anything you want to become, you need discipline. Some people have a slogan, uh, pass now and pay later. You will pay, you will pay for life. You will pay for what? There is nothing like pass now and pay later. 
you will pay for life. It's better you pay your price now and be going JJ quietly. Little by little, you are making progress. People that are always looking for shortcuts has always been short. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Let me give you another example. There was a pastor that served under us in 2007 with Pastor Lashubo. It was our pastor three. Any message they send him is always not happy. He came and met me one morning after morning devotion. That's her. My prayer is that the moment they want to transfer me from here, they should make me pastor one. No. I said, God will hear your prayer. I didn't want to like discourage him. But I knew that if you have not served well, you can't lead well. So, in less than four months, an opportunity came for someone to go to a particular place. My pastor didn't even tell me. They've already made him as well. I said, ah, thank God. God has answered your prayer. She said, that's all you are praying for. He said, God has done it. God has done it. God has done it. But here is the other side. As he went to the place, I won't call the name of the place. Some people here may know the place. He impregnated two girls in one month. What a promotion. And from there, he disappeared into the teen air till today. He threw away his phone, threw away his SIM card, and disappeared. Do you know why? <laughs> you are laughing. He didn't want to learn and pay the price. He wanted envelope quick, quick. But he has not developed. He has not developed. He wants envelope. He wanted where they will be bringing him big offering. But he didn't know that big offering goes with big suffering. Jesus said, can you drink of the cup that I drink? People that are in a hurry to see profit, go and ask them, have you labored? This thing goes with labor. And if the labor must be profitable, it needs discipline. Tell your neighbor, discipline. So a profitable life is impossible without a disciplined culture. Discipline is a culture. Now let me define discipline by my own understanding. Discipline is, is modeling yourself to the kind of success you want to see. Conditioning yourself. Modeling yourself. You are modeled mentally, you are modeled spiritually, you are modeled physically. There are some things your body will want physically. You say, because of where I want to get to know this thing. Paul said, I put my body under. I put my body under. So that I will not be a cast away. There are too many things our body is demanding now that we must not give to it. If not, it will deny you of a great future. Take for example now. A sister now said that uh, uh, he's putting pressure on me for sex. Oh yeah, do it now. Since you want to please him, do it. Do it. When you get belly, your career don't finish. True or false? But when you marry, when you marry, even if your husband says morning, afternoon, night, he has paid your bride price. True or false? What you will eat now that will destroy you tomorrow, tell it to wait. Some will say, I don't want to lose him. <laughs> there are people you must lose so that you won't lose God. Am I saying the truth? 
agent of devil. That's what you are calling boyfriend. And funny enough, if it happens now, they will leave you and run away. You see? You better go and abort that, you know. I know they will. I know they will. <laughs> One happened in data. <laughs> As he impregnated the girl, he said, Where? Everybody they say now me. I don't know where she they go. I don't know where she they go. He went and brought broom. If this broom keep fly now, show me the broom where keep the fly. Show me the broom where keep the fly. Show me the broom where keep the fly. You see now, it's not racking sense with you. That will let you know that you, the lady, you will be the one that is on the receiving end. Let your head be correct. Let your head be correct. Tell your neighbor, you need discipline. God did not create you for losses. He created you for profit. If he created you for profit, don't be thinking that uh, uh, you will not see profit. No, profit is waiting for you. But you must prepare for the profit you want to see. Must prepare for the profit you want to see. A similar one happened one pastor that, uh, that served under me in 2008. Anytime we are calling for prayer, he was dodging. Always dodging, 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 dodging. Rather, he would prefer to go to, that's when uh, uh, Winners Everywhere started. He would prefer to go to that place. I didn't know that something was already going on in a young man's life. Until finally, finally, the alarm come blow. It was uh, sending one dickness a text. Say, dickness, I like your breast too. It was the Dickness text that made us to know others that he has, uh, he has tested. <laughs> so immediately the Dickness came and reported, we exported him in the night because they will have killed him. We exported him. Where we exported him to, to see whether his head will cool down. The bad spirits that followed him, followed him there. He started manifesting again. They took him out from that place. Now hear me. If you don't want to learn under a master that will kill all your bad traits, you may never rise tomorrow. You may never rise tomorrow. Finally, finally, he landed in Mboba. In Port Harcourt. The spirit still came out. The bad spirit that is following him still came out. That was where everything was now. So I'm, I, I, I said, what are you doing here? He said, this is where I am now. I said, I hope you have changed. He says, I have changed, I have changed, I have changed. He said, you know now, I can't be in this kind of place and mess up now. <laughs> And he targeted another lady. You know, there are some ladies that are doing well, but they were desperate. Desperator. He caught one, the team blow. So he could not hide. They sacked him. As they sacked him, he went and started his own ministry. I said, the next thing I was seeing on Facebook, I said, you have started ministry. Say yes. Say the Lord spoke to me. 
I said, the Lord didn't speak to you. I called him and said, the Lord didn't speak to you. Satan has planned your destruction. Because you can now, if you can't be under somebody, is it now when you are on your own? When your defense is porous. Eh? When you have a porous defense. It's not that you are on your own that your head will be correct. I say, I pity all the ladies that are coming to that church. They will become specimen. Let me say this before we rise up to pray. Do you want to profit in life? You need discipline. You need people that will help discipline you. Now scripture says, spear the rod and spoil the child. Any child you don't discipline, you don't love. Any child you discipline, you are preserving his destiny for the future. The discipline you give him today will be the fear he will have tomorrow. Shabbat, I'm your pastor. I can flog my children with my eyes. Just, I, just looking like this. They will take off. How much more? If I slap, if I slap with my hand, my fingers must show. It's as serious as that. So I don't slap with the hand. I just carry it. Come on, come on. The correction of today is the deliverance for tomorrow. Some of the regrets many of you are having now, why life looks as if it doesn't want to agree to what God has in mind for you, is because you did not agree to anybody's correction. You don't. Many of us didn't agree to anybody's correction. Now, I learned something from one of my mentors. He said, you need the stuff of a tough man because of the tough challenges you will meet. There are some people you are meeting now, you think they are tough on you. They are not tough. They are only preparing you for your great tomorrow. Your great tomorrow. God has designed everybody here to see good. But hear me, you must be conditioned, disciplined, prepared for that good. In summary, scripture said the profit of the earth is for all. The profit of the earth is for who? But not all can take it. The profit of the earth is for who? For all. But hear me, you can't take the profit of the earth if you have not been prepared, if you have not been trained. If you have not been trained, you must be trained to take profits. In business, you must be trained to take profits. In career, you must be trained before you see success. Likewise, in ministry, you must be trained before it must answer in your hand. If not, you end up in regrets for life. People that dodge being corrected, being rebuked, being reproved, The truth is, life cannot surrender the blessing you require. If life must surrender the blessing you require, you must subscribe to discipline. Success, profit is impossible without discipline. And before we rise up to pray, the profit of the earth is for all. Now hear me. Jesus came as the son of man because here, spirits are not licensed to operate without a body. So he needed to come as a man. Went through the torture of a man. Went through the perils. Scripture says, for the joy that was set before him, he endured. 
Anything you are enduring now is because of your profiting tomorrow. It's not punishment. No one that scripture say endure hardness, not hardship. As a good soldier of Christ, you endure. There are some things you are enduring now because you know tomorrow will be better. Tomorrow will be glorious. If you don't want to endure, Satan will show you alternatives. If you saw profit last year, for you to see greater profit this year, hear me, add more discipline. Add more discipline. You don't set big goal and live low life. You don't set big goals and live low life. When you set big goal, man, you attach big discipline. So that you arrive at where God has in mind for you. Hear me? 2018, you are not permitted to struggle. If you are saying amen, say better amen. That's why it's better you pay your price now. And funny enough, if you, if you are not paying any price, which legacy will you hand over to your children? Everything is okay. Which okay? You, sh you show them how to walk. I'm already teaching my own how to be tough. You must be tough. Oh. There are devils everywhere. They can pocket your future and uh, leave, it with, leave you with empty conco. Please, I beg you, profit is coming. But you must prepare for it. One of the things you need to prepare for the profit that is ahead of you is discipline. Now let me summarize. How many of us have heard of Linda Ikeji? If you are a lady and you don't, have not heard of Linda Ikeji, I pity you. I pity you as I'm seeing you now. I'm pitying you. Any lady that we end up marrying that man, we pass physical tests mental test spiritual test do you know why ask me why? why somebody that is already making over 400 million per month now you want just go marry you know what will happen to you they will go and screen the forefathers of your village and know the kind of spirit that is following you am i saying the truth to somebody why she has labored to arrive at where she is. She cannot just come and marry any yeye man. She labored. It's not Papa dash me. Or boyfriend dash me. She labored to arrive at where she is. I want to say to you, you can be better. I say you can be better. I say you can be better. Rise up to your feet. We are going to pray one prayer. Brian Tracy said something and I hold on to that word. The best discipline you can give to yourself is self-discipline. Somebody can discipline you, it is temporary. Temporary. But when you discipline yourself, it is permanent. Lord, every discipline that I need to arrive at my success, to arrive at the quality of profit you have ordained for me, help me. Release grace upon me. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your voice and begin to talk to God right now. Every discipline that I need to arrive at the quality of the success you have ordained for me. Lord, release it upon me. Help me. I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. In the name of Jesus Christ, I need your help. The help that will bring me to my new dawn new levels of profits new levels of success 
new levels of progress new levels of breakthrough lord help me i need your marvelous help in the mighty name of jesus christ any habit that is killing my discipline that is not allowing me to be disciplined any habit sleeping eating drinking seeking too much pleasure lord deliver me from every bad habit that want to crush my glorious future lord deliver me from every deadly habit that want to wipe me out from progress lord deliver me i need your marvelous help lift up your voice and pray i need your marvelous help spirit of god help me i need your marvelous help thank you father in jesus name we have prayed in jesus name we have prayed all eyes closed all heads bow you are here you are not born again you want to make it right with jesus so that things will work well for you wherever you are inside and outside i'd like you to put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me lord jesus i come unto you today i know that i'm a sinner forgive me wash me with your precious blood i reject sin i reject satan come into my life be my lord be my savior in jesus name i pray if you pray that prayer with me wherever you are inside and outside put your hands together for jesus and come you help me put your hands please come god bless you come god bless you come i want to pray with you come come god bless you god bless you god bless you inside and outside help me welcome them put your hands together for jesus help me receive that young man Are joining them, join them quickly. Put those hands together for Jesus. Please come, God bless you. Come, God bless you. Hallelujah. As I put this oil upon you. I decree a positive turnaround in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever has kept you, kept your destiny in slow motion, beginning from today, that yoke is destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any deadly habit that has not allowed you to go forward in life, the yoke is broken in the name of Jesus if you are saying amen say better amen put your hands together for jesus for them please turn turn follow this man right now turn and follow him god bless you put those hands together for jesus hallelujah are you here with your one thousand somebody